here where we are going to derive the very useful formula that is time of flight t so what is time of flight t the total time taken by particle the total time taken by particle in the path oab right so that is time of flight t so here the x axis is along horizontal direction the y axis is along vertically upwards right so by using this here you can write ux is equal to u cos alpha ux is equal to u cos alpha and uy is equal to u sin alpha right what is your initial velocity clear so ux is equal to u cos alpha uy is equal to u sin alpha so how to get this just observe this so for example this is initial velocity we are taking it as u right the velocity in the direction of x axis this is ux then in the direction of y axis let it is ui so clearly mentioned here angle is alpha clear now x and y here you get 90 degree just apply basic points so what are those what is cos alpha from here so from here you can write cos alpha is equal so this line is u clear so now what is cos alpha very good that is adjacent by hypotenuse ux by u therefore this ux gives ux gives what u cos alpha clear so similarly what is sin alpha observe here sin alpha is opposite by hypotenuse that is uy by u therefore uy gives u sin alpha very simple concept clear so we can write formula for ux and uy as u sin alpha uy as u sin alpha and ux as u cos alpha clear right now the next one here i am taking ax is equal to 0 right a along the horizontal line so automatically it is 0 so what is ay this is minus z right now clearly observe at point b at point b sy is equal to 0 at point b sy is equal to 0 so previously already i explained what is formula for displacement uh, with respect to y axis that is sy is equal what is s s is ut plus half at square all you know this very well so here i am taking why because projectile motion is two dimensional therefore this uh, s can be written as with respect to y that is sy is equal to 0 so here you can write sy is equal uyt plus half ayt square clear now substitute on this point sy is 0 according to the basic point what is ui u sin alpha u sin alpha into t plus half what is ay so here ay is minus g clearly ay is minus g t square finish now here solve this so you get answer that is the derivation of what time of flight t so what is your equation here so here your equation is u sin alpha t square here i am writing like this u sin alpha t square plus half into minus z so this can be written as minus half g t square is equal to 0 clear u sin alpha t plus Minus half g t square. Take t common. So here you get u sin alpha minus half g t is equal to zero. Right. So now here t is equal to zero. One concept. The another one is u sin alpha minus half g t is equal to zero. If half g t is equal to zero. we have to get t so therefore 1 by 2 gt you can write it as u sin alpha clear 1 by 2 gt you can write it as u sin alpha so by using this what is t yes very good 
So here you can write the T as so cross multiplier 2u sin alpha by g. Right? So here we got two values for t equal 0 and t is equal to u sin alpha by g. So t equal to 0, this is corresponding to the initial point. Corresponding to this O points. Right? So but we have to get what? Corresponding to the B point that is uh, T time of flight display, uh, describing the path OAB. At B we have to calculate. Therefore, so this is your formula. This T represents corresponding to B. This T represents corresponding to B. Therefore, so how to write this? You can represent it by capital T. T is equal T OAB that is along path OAB is nothing but 2u sin alpha by g right what is t here the total time taken by particle in described path oab right so what is formula 2u sin alpha by g so it is derivation of this important formula students please subscribe my max guru channel here you can watch maths as well as physics video lessons so which are useful for both iit jee and neat thank you very much